Hello to all my friends out there. This is afternoon tea with Rhoda of French Flair. I was practicing my poses. Those models' lips my guess awfully tired. So, afternoon tea with a French Flair. Okay, now I am going to make the food and that is always dangerous. You can't make it on the table, otherwise you're going to get food on your tablecloth. I already have some, some stains. So the first thing I want to make is some French sandwiches. So I located this in France. It's baguette bread, but it's baguette in English. And it was $3.59. This stuff smells so incredibly great you can smell you can smell it in the bag it was three dollars and 59 cents for two and I thought it was well with it worth it let me see is my sandwich showing okay no I'm going to use my um artistic license so if you're from France don't 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 uh, crucify me I'm doing the best I can here in Southern California So I'm going to start with mayonnaise. And so you can make quite a few of these sandwiches. Oh, I didn't bring a knife. Oh, rats. Oh, I use a spoon. Good mayonnaise. Uh, you can make these in advance, but I wanted to make them, you know, as we we speak. Okay, so now what I want is I want some, uh, I have to be careful because I have a very cheesy setup here. I have mustard. I have some spicy brown mustard. Not on the tablecloth. Quite a bit of mustard. I want to be able to taste it. And then to make my mustard extra tasty, now this is German, sorry French people, but you know, this is gonna be good. So um, let's see, I want quite a bit. I wanna be able to taste the horseradish. I put about a half a teaspoon. Okay, so now let's stir it up good. Ooh, this smells good, you guys. So, you know, I had no experience in fashion. Uh, I had a one-dimensional life. I'm so glad I retired early. Even if I was locked up for a whole year, uh, you know, at least I got out of the confinement of a salon. And so in my life, my job was to figure out what women wanted to look like. And in my ability to do that, determine how much money I was going to make. So, this is my short hair, short hairdo that I devised. Okay, so now, I have, it just so happened that I bought this yellow fin tuna with uh, oil, and I wonder what's with the oil thing, you know? Um, I usually buy everything in, with a uh, water packed. Oh, no, no, no. You need the oil, or you're going to have to add. This is good tuna. I got it marked down. So, you know, t uh, tuna fish is not too disagreeable if you uh, get the good stuff. It's not too expensive either if you buy it on sale. I 
I might have to use one of my napkins. This tuna is kind of greasy. So you guys, you know, um, sometimes, you know, I, I mentioned to you guys that I would try all kinds of things on people's hair, their uh, hair, anything. That was my ability to do that. And so people will go, well, what if they didn't like it? Well, they could go to somebody else, couldn't they? So I have my crusty, this is iconic French bread, mayonnaise, mustard with horseradish, tuna. Now, I made, I want um, lettuce, tomato, and onion. So I'm going to start out with the tomato. Also, you guys, if you don't know this now, a good sandwich will cost you 10 bucks. But if you make it at home, it's not anywhere near 10 bucks. I'm not going to say it's better than good, really good deli. Well, hey, you guys, this is pretty good. So I have red onion. And I, what I did was I sliced my onion as absolutely thin as I possibly could. Then this is not lettuce. I had this kale. Uh, so I said, okay, we're going to use the kale. Okay, so now we had red onion, lettuce, tomato. Now we have organic. So in France, everything is organic. I have olives and capers. Remember our many discussions on uh, capers? You need capers if you want to be like a French person. I've had a French poodle. That's about it as far as French stuff. Okay, so now we need hard-boiled eggs. And uh, these are the Aldi's eggs. I find them to be good. So these are some awesome little sandwiches I'm making for my tea party. Um, you can pour um, olive oil and vinegar on, but if you have um, if you have the tuna with oil, you don't really need it. I think uh, salt and pepper is nice. So I hope to get to France before I die. And my son was telling me when the uh, lockdown is over, there's a good French restaurant in Del Mar that we're gonna go to. So now let me put them, oh, I wanna make mention. I do have some of my tea party stuff left. This is a nice little platter. And this was made in Germany. It's called Wild Rose. Crown Barbarian. Ooh, yummy. Okay. So now these sandwiches will hold up really, really well. Um, I have done very little cooking because i am um, been eating my tea party stuff. So, okay, take a look at this. Let me see if it's showing. I'm having still problems. Here it is, you guys. Yummy. Okay, so now there's a place in France where the ladies wear no pants, but, but I actually have jeans on and underwear. So, okay, so let's have some black tea. Okay, I'm moving up in the world. I put my um, screen in my tea because, you know, I have this black tea. See how I have my um, screen? One teaspoon tea. This is English breakfast tea, which is one of the best black teas. And in France, they drink uh, black tea. I don't know if it's English breakfast tea. That's just, ooh, nice, the one I had. And then in France, I'm not going to say it, I will have a little milk. A long, long time ago, this was like a scandal about France. Uh, the, the French would take their dogs with them everywhere, restaurants, and Americans would say, my gosh, you know, we went to this nice restaurant, and, and they took their dog, and he was under the table. They do that now in America, everywhere. 
Oh, that's delicious. You make it good. Uh, what I learned to do is use distilled water and you uh, brew your tea right before you're gonna drink it. Okay, here is one of my party plates that I did do have left. And on this, I have a very special dessert. Okay, this is ooh la la. Okay, now, I bought these, yes. Where did I write it? Mini beignets. And these mini beignets cost me $5.49. And I thought, that is kind of expensive. Guess what? I already ate one because you know I had to try it. They are so delicious. I got them at Sprouts. So, you know, so as I will, I will put four on here. Don't be a glutton. And then I found, I, I found some nice stuff. I got these at Grocery Outlet. These are authentic French butter cookies. And these were, you get eight cookies. They were $5, but I got them for $2. That's still kind of very expensive for, uh, for eight cookies, but that's okay. It's France. It's France today. I will be doing all variations as, and uh, they have the letters 888 on them. Ooh, yummy. Oh no, I lost one. 888. Oh, 1888. Have you guys seen these? I broke one. Let me taste it. Mm. Those are yummy. So here we have it. So this is a very substantial meal. And what I noticed is when the quality of your food is up there, you eat it and it's like awesome. Okay, so my hair was inspired by two people. One, Coco Chanel, and I forgot my hat. I will put it in the thumbnail. And a killer. One time I was watching this uh, video and, and it was this lady and she murdered her husband and she had been in jail for a long time. And she was determined to look nice, and she basically did this to her hair, and it was pretty successful. She had been well, well off before her life of crime. Okay, this is a Joan Rivers jacket. I said I was going to sell it, but no, it's, it's nice. No more Joan either. And then, you know, I have a silk blouse, you know about that. And then my jewelry, I generally sell this stuff. I could sell. Okay, now let's light the candles. If I, I can't light the candles because I didn't bring the matches. Okay, I put my fan. This was my grandmother's fan. I love this fan. Every once in a while I have it in my videos. Okay. I noticed when I worked in certain shops, like Vietnamese shops, there was a, a, a French flair. And so the Franco-Vietnamese intermingling started as early as the 17th century with the arrival of the Catholic missionaries in Vietnam. France would eventually colonize Vietnam and Cambodia Indonesia, Indochina, Indochina Union in 1887. And uh, they, they uh, were pretty much in Vietnam for 70 years. And if you know, uh, if you know any Vietnamese, you see the uh, French influence. And then the other ones, you might be thinking, well, what about Marco Polo? Well, you do see the, um, you do see the influence in the uh, Mid-Easterns. 
And his main objective for going to France was, first of all, they were merchants, and they pretty much controlled the tea and um, and uh, commerce between China and um, the Mideast for a zillion years. And so his main reason for going there was to, uh, he was a merchant. Okay, so now let's have a tasty little plate. Okay, my sandwich is a little large for my little small tea party plate. And we'll have a beignet and a cookie. And we will have some tea. So you guys, this is a good way to discover very tasty food. This is so good. I am going to ruin my pointed lips. Now, if you have never tried these, these are French pastries and they put donuts to shame. And you know, I dearly love donuts. That's so good. So I think that there is a renewed interest in uh, tea parties because women have been ho home more. I heard women are baking more, maybe men too. Now for the cookie, butter cookie. All the countries, the butter cookies are a tiny bit different. Um, also Madeleines are French and also macaroons, but I'm not pronouncing it the French way. But I couldn't find any Madeleines. I tried, and finally I go, you're putting too much effort into this. And so then when I got my French pastries, I was so happy because they're so delicious. That is so yummy. Okay, I will be back soon with more teas. Afternoon teas with Rhoda. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.